Hello and howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gobspout. You're back watching Gob's Lizards at the Minecraft Dinosaurs Park. We're here in the Herarosaur enclosure today. And we're making a new episode. I believe this is episode 77. And you can see that we've got, uh, we've, we've brought up our two other little Herarosaurs that were in the nursery. They're not fully grown yet. They're still small. And I tested that they're not fully grown with a growth serum on this guy. And he grew a bit. So I don't know why they haven't grown. Probably because we haven't been in that part of the park in ages, and hopefully they will start to grow soon, because this area here is closer to where we do work currently, which is over the Triceratops enclosure. Hopefully these chunks will load, meaning that these guys can grow, because he needs to grow, and the other little one over there just needs to grow. But you can see that we've got six more eggs here to hatch, because I the other day I, I was up here working on the roof for the viewery, which is done now too. <gasps> they're hatching, they're hatching! And... Um, one of them died under a fence, so I fixed that problem. And now we have got lots more Herosauruses. What have we got? We've got, we've got one female, one male, uh, two female, two male, three male. Okay, so we've got three of each. That's nice and nifty and fancy. That's cool now. So we've got, yes, this is what I was wanting. I was wanting a whole, like, big pack. Not a herd, you know, an actual pack of Herarosaurs in this enclosure. Yes, this is going to be good when these guys are all grown up. Even with them all being small, it looks good. Um, I'll just show off where the Herarosaur did die. It was one of the female ones. I like as well them up here. Yeah, look at the different levels. It's so nice. It's so nice. They haven't pushed any. They haven't pushed anyone off yet. That's what I was worried would be the first death. But they've been up here and not pushed each other off. Uh, it was just in here. We had we had this dirt block missing and the dirt block under there was missing. So it went under and it got stuck, and for some reason it suffocated to death, which was a bit odd. Um, but our roof scheme, it's not, it's not beautiful, but I think it still works nicely. These are our chiseled torches, because we've got light bulbs and we've got chandelier stuff there. Um, it's to match the theme of the other... It's the same block type as that over there, the Carnotaurus Fury and the Nursery down there. It's the same block type to get some match and flow going through. Um, I can't really show it from on top. I can go inside and show you. Um, I can commit the crime. I don't want any of my Herarosaurs to commit. I come through the doorway. Come up here. And here it is. It's, I think it's nice to have some things. That we've also put spruce planks up through the thing as well. I think it's nice though in here. Oh, it is a bit dark. It is a bit dark just there. It is a bit dark. Um... I'm using a glowstone block, I think this one is glowstone. Uh, but I think it works nicely, kind of ish. It works good enough for me, at least. It works good enough for me. And it still bothers me that this here is a thing that, like, is just floating, but we can't address that in any way at all, or else you just cannot get up here. You just, you just can't. You just can't. Unless we lower this down by, like, a slab, and that's a bit awkward, because um, then that can be connected by... Uh, Anyway, just ignoring it, that's a thing. The Herarosaurs, look at them all. The Herarosaurs are all, all the different levels. All the different levels. They're very nice. Very nice. That's a big Herarosaur. So it's a big, big pup. Herarosaur. And then all the little baby, all the little pappy Herarosaurs down there. I think it's cute. I think it's a cool thing. It works. I really like this exhibit, actually. This It's got lots of levels and lots of different areas to view things from. It's a, It is actually becoming, I think, a bit of a favorite exhibit. Look at that Herarosaurus just up there. That's so cool. That is just so extremely cool. I like it a lot. Uh, so what else are we doing today? Today we are also going to... I can't wait to see this guy's growing up, man. It's going to be awesome. Even as to be here and see the levels of them around. They seem to like this area, which is... I'm, I don't complain about this. I think this is a cool area for them to be in. Uh, but we're going to go over and work on the Triceratops area today. If I can even get there. First of all, and also speak today. Uh, I was wanting to work on the Dryosaurs a bit too, but I don't think I will, just because I'm uncertain of actually what I am doing. And I think I'm better off redecorating the inside and then doing that off camera, like with the trees, just getting the trees right, and then doing the wall on camera. I think that's how I'm going to tackle that situation. I think. And I think the same deal with the dry souls. I'm just going to fill this up. I'm going to have like 13, 14 dry souls in here. Because of the way you view this from, if you stand here, trees going to be in the way. You can kind of view into this middle area a bit, but you're going to have trees in the way. This is where I need to recalibrate all the trees. If we have the paths here as well, 
Um, you can't see much out here. You see this little valley way. Same deal here. You're not seeing over this ridge. Come around here. Oh, I missed that jump, but that is okay because I can try it again. And if I miss it, doesn't matter. Uh, here you've got a little bit of viewing area. You might see some things. Just in here, you may, but a lot of this exhibit is secure and secret. Like anything that is basically here, you will not see it. Anything that is in through here, you will not see it. Um, which is okay, it's good to have privacy in the exhibits. I've just dug a random hole for my horse here as well, because he needed one. Um, but aside from that, I think we can work on the tri -C. So you can see I've done some off-camera work here as well. This is the side viewing area. I've just built the platform um, for it because I, I I didn't want to be messing around with this on camera. Um, I think it works well. Originally, we were going to have this link up into this tower. This tower was actually going to be an elevation to get onto this, but I've changed my mind because it just doesn't add up. And this looks nice how it is, even though it's pointless currently. And this, I'm going to do something else with it. So, what we're doing today, Triceratops. I just, you'll have to excuse me, I, I got a bit, a little bit of a burp, a little bit of a burp going on. Um, but, just yesterday, I was watching Lost World, kind of watching it. I, I, I don't know, I struggle to enjoy it. Um, <laughs> one of these blocks, these are multi blocks. This is, the actual, the, the stone road is actually a beautiful block for roads. I am considering to once again redesign my roads. I'm gonna leave these. I'm gonna leave these the same as what they are up in that part of the park because it's got nice continuation and that's the whole point. But the next opportunity I get to spice up the roads because I think it's okay to have a few different road designs throughout the park. I'm going to incorporate one that has that Tinker's Road in it because it is a lovely block choice. It is absolutely fantastic. It is beautiful. Um, getting back to my story. Look, I know what I can do. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna put down. I'm gonna build this wall. Just add a stone brick, and if I don't like it, which I probably won't, I'll customize it in soon or later or off-camera-ish. And uh, from there, I can just work out what I'm doing with the thing. Um, but yeah, I was watching The Lost World yesterday with my director's vision on, because I haven't seen it in so long. I used to watch the trilogy. I used to watch the franchise, like, religiously. Every month, I'd whack it on. It'd be a nice Sunday thing. Um... Yeah, now that I've, it's been so long and I put my director vision on, and it's not as good as I remember it to be. Not as good as I remember it to be. Why are you not? Oh, because the Triceratops is in the way. Triceratops, move! Get out of the way. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you actually listen. You're the first animal in, the, in this whole game that listens to me. That's crazy, incredible, insane. All right. Uh, and I say partly watching because I had my girlfriend around, and it was just kind of, uh, we, we, we started our day, we watched the, not the Princess Bride, the Robin Hood Men in Tights. Well, I can't say it's a bad movie. It, it matches my father's sense of humour, which I grew up with. It's not necessarily my sense of humour, um, but that's okay. So that was okay, and then we had a couple hours to kill, and I was like, oh, we, we, don't, we need another movie to watch. So I'm like, you know what, I've been fanging for a Lost World watch. I'm going to whack it on. Uh, didn't, didn't enjoy it entirely, but it's nice to hear the tri noises again after just hearing them in the film yesterday. That is a nice thing. Um, I, think, I think actually this, this brick wall doesn't look so bad. I don't think it looks so bad. We're going to have half slabs on the roof, on the top. Um, so that means that we would have... I don't know if we're going to do slabs or if we're going to do what. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Where's our crafting bench? Put our crafting bench down. Did I see something move over there? I could have sworn I saw something move over in that area. That general vicinity. Vicinity. First Cernerny. Uh, no. We're going to need a few of these. going to need a few of these. Uh, I do enjoy, actually, that we can, with our chisel, just very quickly go back and forth between stone and stone brick. I'm really glad that that's actually been incorporated, because now I have, oh, this one stone brick. What on earth am I going to do with this one stone brick? Uh, I know exactly what I can do. I can make it stone again and use it somewhere else where I'm going to need stone. 
it's a very nice incorporation. Um, and it makes sense that it's not in the default game, but I'm very glad that it's a modded thing in Chisel. So what can we talk about today? Today is the 29th of November 2016. I'm tripping out, I'm seeing things everywhere in my world. Um, but what's been going on? What's been going on? Uh, today is not Monday, today is Tuesday of the first week of our Christmas break. So that is a bit frightening. That's already here as well. Uh, but it is. It's here. Can't, can't complain, I guess. Uh, I stayed up really late last night until 2 a.m. I was a bit foolish. I um. Oh yes, this is this is nice. This is nice. This is very nice indeed. Um, we'll have some lighting in the floor. That'll be hidden, but temporarily, we will just do some of these torches until I can come back and get uh, glowstone. We need to set up a glowstone farm too. That's another thing. We need to find a witch hut. We need to convert it. Uh, and then once we've converted that, we need to just sit on it and grind for glowstone for a very long time. <laughs> This looks nasty now that we've got torches down here, but like I said, it's just a temporary thing, and that's why I'm glad I got to show it to you before we had to put torches in. Uh, and I didn't want to do—I didn't want to do too much of this off camera either, because it's uh, feels like, it feels like something that needs to be done on camera. Um, yeah, yeah, because I jumped off my story, and I know people hate that. <laughs> I stayed up till 2 a.m. because uh, I was a bit foolish. It was at like 12 o'clock. Hang on, what was? Okay, so my girlfriend left. At about 10 and then I had to like clean up the kitchen because it's, it's just the chore that I'm on and I did a couple other things that were chores and then it was about 10.30 and it was like huh, well I've still got some time in me I want to do some things uh, I want to pick up the conversation that we had to leave on so did that uh, and to keep myself awake why did I fall that's why I fell to keep myself awake, I was like, hmm, you know what I feel like? I'm going to go raid the fridge. And there was just a whole lot of like, chocolate items. And I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm going to be bad, and I'm going to do that. <laughs> and at 12 o'clock at night, I was eating a roll of Cadbury's chocolate. Mum was not happy. Anyway, uh, besides the point of that, it was then uh, it was then 12. I checked up on a buddy of mine. Uh, you're not meant to be there. You're the wrong leaf type. I mean, just notice that you're not meant to be there. Um... I checked up on a buddy of mine, and then he disappeared at about half past twelve, or my internet cut out, and then I'm like, I'm still not tired. I was tired, I could have gone to sleep, but I had told myself I would try drawing some things. Excuse me while I stretch my arms. Um, so I was drawing things, then in my sketchbook, like just developing my abilities to draw more so, until it was about 2 a.m., uh, I did that until. How do I want to? How do I want to actually do this? How do I want to do this? <gasps> what if? What if I have? <gasps> oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. 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 I have an idea. Do 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 do. I got an idea, 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 I got an idea. It's such a nice area we've got over here. Also, I've come to the conclusion that the ravine that runs through here, I think I'm certainly... Well, I'm going to need to build, build this down. I think I'm certainly going to turn this into a massive big aquarium. I want I know, I know, I wanted to do an aquarium part of the park, like dedicated to all the wet stuff, and I can still do that and just duplicate a species in. I don't see why I specifically can't do that. But like have it as a side exhibit. The main exhibit I think for like the ichthyosaurs and that, I'm going to have as this as this ravine. I'm gonna put glass in the side, like in that row there, and gonna mirror it on that side, and just fill this thing with water, chuck in the ichthyosaurs, put like a wall around it beautiful. That's going to be the exhibit for the Ichthyosaurs. I think that's really s clever and smart. And also, it's going to feel quite nice in this part of the park, too, to have the Ichthyosaurs and the Triceratops and the... Oh, 
the level of development in this part of the park will be quite nice with some actual big ticket, not only species, but exhibits. Like, this is a big ticket exhibit. The Herarosaurs, although a little bit far away, just up through there, um, are somewhat big ticket as well, I suppose, in their exhibit size. That would be a nice big exhibit. I want to get, I do want to get into the bigger exhibit sizes. The Dilophosaurus exhibit we're going to make bigger. The Elasmatherium exhibit we are going to make bigger. It's not going to be, it's going to be just a little bit short of what probably a realistic size would be in real life. Ow, I tried to dodge that. Serpentine, you can't actually serpentine, I swear, man. There's no serpentine in this game. Like, people claim there's serpentine, but with aimbot skeletons. No, I just don't think it exists. Good luck convincing me. Did I pick anything? No, I didn't pick a bit. Uh, probably arrows. Probably arrows. It's probably what I picked up from that. Okay, so to get back to what I didn't get to explain, is there an Enderman over there? I could have sworn I saw an Enderman. Enderman? Enderman. Do 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 do. Enderman, Enderman, en Ender, Enderman. <gasps> no! No, 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 that doesn't work. But if I do upside down stairs, upside down stairs I can do. I can do upside down stairs. Okay. Let's do this so we can get up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Do, 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 do. Alright, so this now is that we're going to reclaim this wood. I was actually going to build with this wood today, but I'm just not going to get time. That's okay, though, to work with this is for today. Um, but yeah, I was developing my... There's an Enderman down there. I knew I saw an Enderman somewhere. Um, what did I develop? I drew... Has he got gravel? You piece of scum got gravel for him. You piece of scum got gravel. Uh, I was developing my comic hero stuff. Because that's a nice thing. I need to get into that. Are you kidding me? No, that is a Dilophosaurus, not a spider. Ah! Wow, you, you startle the Triceratops. Good, good going, man. Good going. Are we missing a Triceratops? No, he's just down there. I feel like there's... I, it's easy to lose the Triceratops. It's it's a bit... It's something I wasn't expecting, I'll say that, at least. Um, Alright, now we come back inside. Alright, now let's see if this works. Can we... Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can just have that little recede, recede up in there. Although this corner piece needs to be more of a blockade. No, that should just be a solid block, actually. That should just be a solid block. So let's go nick one of the blocks we got down here. If we're really fast, really, really fast, we'll get the bottom one out because we don't need that to be there. Get these, get you, bada ba boom bada ba ba boom ba 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 boom Eat some food. I ate some steak. I ate some steak. Oh 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 I ate some steak. I like this part of the exhibit. This is a nice fancy thing we've got going on here. It's very fancy, very nice, very nice. Um I think this exhibit as well will look freaking awesome. Uh, and I know we haven't done this right because we've, we we're ignoring certain edge blocks, but I think it's okay. We'll do that off camera. It's just to get an idea today because we're going to run out of episode time if we try to do it on camera today um, because we do actually try to stick to episode times. And it turns out I've actually got to leave for an appointment in five minutes anyway. So there's no, I wouldn't even have time to do it on camera. Um... That, well, how does that look? That looks, that looks okay. It does look okay. I would have the, no, I can't do that, sadly. Hmm, see, it looks like, yeah, that's a bummer. I would have this, because it looks like the stair is actually this here. That's what it looks like the stair would be, which means that that there would be a slab on top through there, and I would have that slab a different color if I could. But I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do that, sadly. Sadly, sadly. So I'm going to have to end the video now, uh, which is an unfortunate thing, even though I didn't get to do this birch ground. I think it's okay. Uh, what are we going to do next time? I don't even know. We might work on the dry saws. We might work on the... It's the enclosure. We might work on... 
the Dilophosaur enclosure, because before we can work on the Elasma Theorem in any of that section, we need to finish this so that we can work on the Dilophosaur enclosure, because that's really going to then affect the shape of the paths that the Elasma Theorem enclosure can be put through. Um, so that's why we did work on this today, so that we could do that, which is nice. Uh, so everybody, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I think it's been, I think it's been nice. I think it's been good. Good, good, good. Uh, is there a thing there? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Um, can I do that, maybe? I don't know if that did a thing that was actually okay. I'm guessing it did. I'm going to guess that it did. Um, everybody, hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day. You enjoy whatever it is that you've got to do. Uh, and I best be off. So, I suppose that comes to... But goodbye, everybody. Ta-ta!